Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover, one on Eminem setting yet another record in the United States in the era since actual sales tracking began, the SoundScan era. And we also have a report that shocked the younger generation after a report on the Eminem show that debuted at number one in the United States on the Billboard 200 Albums chart on June 8, 2002, revealed some key stats about its release and some can't believe it. And we'll be exploring some of these reactions in a bit. Before we dive into the details, if you enjoy content like this, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and find me on social media at ETLifestyle on the score web. So we'll get the report on the Eminem show out of the way first, and this report sparked the discussion. Today in 2002, Eminem's The Eminem Show debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 with 285,000 sold one day of sales. It sold 1.32 copies in its first full week, produced the hit Without Me, and was the year's best-selling album. And I'd add, it also produced the best-selling non-single of all time in the United States, Till I Collapse. Now, many younger hip-hop fans probably thought that was a typo, 285,000 in one day, well, to be precise, in 12 hours, hence reactions like this. Wait, what? One day? And I'll give you an idea of how things have changed in the industry. I don't know where things fell apart, but it is what it is. In comparison to today, J. Cole, one of the biggest rappers of his generation, dropped the top hip-hop album so far this year, and it opened with first week equivalent sales of 282,000, and in reaction to that comment, the user broke it down on the value of music. And that was back when you had to drive to a store to buy it. The one-day numbers also resulted in reactions like it did 285,000 in one day of sales, skull emoji by nobody can touch his numbers. Another expands, almost 300k in one day, worried face emojis. And numbers like that explain takes like this. Eminem was on hiatus for half of the 2000s decade, and he was still artist of the decade. That's so funny, I'm sorry. No one had a chance with one day sales like that. And back to the point, we are a couple of months from Christmas, but under the report, fans of a certain artist were evidently salty about this. An artist that some have described as the Christmas merchant, hence reactions like Mariah still the queen, Mariah who? Summer is just around the corner. And many more, Mariah ended him. Well, guess for some, Christmas can't come soon enough. Moving on, the Eminem show is also tied to the next part of the video, as Eminem just earned another first for artists in the United States, the report states. Eminem becomes the first artist to have two albums sell over 11 million pure copies each in the Nielsen era. The Eminem show crosses the milestone. Now, before we get to reactions, for those who don't know, before the Nielsen SoundScan tracking began, sales were counted using shipments and by contacting retailers to provide sales data that could be easily manipulated. And artists earned certifications based on these numbers. But this was about to change as actual sales tracking to customers began in 91. And since sales tracking to customers began, Eminem is now the first artist to have two albums top 11 million pure copies sold. In reaction to this, over on Reddit, some were confused about pure copies. A user asked, what does it mean to sell pure copies? Which got this response, pure sales constitute album sales based exclusively on Nielsen SoundScan data that is physical and digital album sales. They do not include album equivalent units derived from streaming and individual track downloads. And some expanded on what it would look like if the report included equivalent sales from track downloads and streaming. That's only pure if we combine streaming and digital and all, both albums have passed 14 million in the United States. Well, don't hold your breath, Interscope has shown that they don't care about updating Eminem album certifications. And on Reddit, a user expands Eminem lyrics to fit. It's my life, I'd love to welcome y'all to the Broken Record show. And like we explored earlier about the downward spiral today, even including streams and all, most popular rappers still struggle to clock 200,000 equivalent sales first week, hence this reaction. This isn't happening ever again, lol. And on Twitter, even stand accounts for artists like Lady Gaga are getting involved in the Eminem drama, hence this, Mariah couldn't do this. And we got more salt to come. Kendrick and Kanye are better, sadly, which got this response, laughing emoji, but still Eminem is the greatest, isn't that funny bro? And check out this hilarious exchange, his songwriters must be so rich, which got this reaction, he writes all his own songs and even produces a lot of them, and yes, he is rich. Now based on the popular narrative that goes around about why Eminem sold so much, here's some jokes to go with that. 
Chad trying to explain how it was actually just a few angsty white kids that bought these 22 million albums by themselves. And we'll end it with this one from Reddit, how someone can look at him and say he's overrated beats me. One of the most successful musicians slash artists of all time, the most successful MC of all time, the most relevant for the longest of all time, the one that inspired a ton of the newer generation, and the one that gives back to the community probably the most, Ear Goat.